Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't done a video in a little while. It's been really cold out here. I don't have heat in the workshop, not yet. Uh, looking into that for sure. Um, I have started a new project and I've been working on the design of it. And uh, I do have some of the drawings done. And I'm starting to make some of the pieces here. So the first piece, and you can see it's turbine rod. So it is a wind related project to give you a, just a clue. And I will be doing a video very shortly uh, telling you about that project. So here the first piece of the puzzle uh, that I want to work on here are these 3 8 diameter uh, 4 inch long rods that I'm going to need. So the first step in the process is to cut them to the 4 inches. Now they don't have to be exactly 4 inches, you know, plus or minus 50 millionths or whatever, but they just need to be the same length would help. So uh, I'll show you how I, you know, the first step in the process here. So if you guys have watched my other videos on the lathe, you'll notice that it does look different now. Um, what I've done, what the difference is, is I don't have the three jaw chuck on here anymore. Instead, I have a 5C collet chuck. And the way these chucks work is instead of jaws grabbing the material you're turning or working with, uh, we're using collets. And these are the size of this collet is called a 5C collet if you've never worked with these. And in this case, we're going to work with 3 8 diameter. And these usually work with within the diameter 3 8 you could probably go 10, 15 thousandths difference, but not a huge difference. So, whatever you're gripping, uh, you need the right collet. And they come in standard sizes, and you can also get them that where you can bore them out to your size that you need. So, in this case, I'm working with a standard. Um, <clears throat> On the front of the collet, you got a taper. In the back, you got a thre OD thread and an ID thread. Uh, I'll explain the ID thread later, but the OD thread is what uh, this collet chuck uh, clamps with. So we'll go ahead and insert it. It's also got an alignment or drive key, too. So we'll put that in, find the key, and just push it in. And then, just like a three jaw, four jaw chuck, you pull it in. And as you pull it in, you can see the uh, collet going in and clamping down. So in today's project, I'm working with a 3 8 piece of aluminum rod. Um, it's 18 inches long. And what I want to do in the first step of what I want to make is divide this into 4 inch equal pieces. So I can, should be able to get 4 pieces out of this piece of stock. So with the collet inserted loosely, I can go ahead and put the rod in here and that's you know you get it in there to the length you want and then you just go ahead and tighten it but here since we're cutting it in equal lengths I'll show you the next step what we're gonna do okay so what we're looking to do is make one of these or actually I need 12 of these pieces here in this drawing uh, this is one I printed out out of plastic just to see what it looks like so what we're gonna do it finishes at four inches but I want to leave a little bit of stock uh, we're gonna use a cutoff tool and we're gonna cut it off when it cuts off it tends to leave a nub on me I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong um, but I'm always getting a nub so I'm gonna leave 50,000 stock so back at the lathe here I've got the uh, cutoff tool put it in the tool post I've already you know aligned it centered it made sure it's parallel and all that stuff um, what I want to do is go back to a point where I want to cut off the rod. So I'm going to space it a little ways, a little bit away uh, from the end of the collet, and I'm going to go ahead and on the readout here and zero it. So we said we needed about four and an eighth inches, so I'm going to go four and an eighth inches away, approximate. Okay, so now I'm at four and eighth inches here, and what I'm going to do is back this away, put the rod in, and go past. So now I'm hitting solid against the cutoff tool. And once I'm there, I'll go ahead and tighten it. Okay. Now on the other end of the lathe here on the tailstock, I put in a piece of bar stock here that I trued up and um, what we use this for is a stop and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in 
and lock it down and then pull it all the way until it touches the 3 8 uh, stock that we want to cut off and I'm going to lock it in just temporary and I'm going to zero that here on the readout <clears throat> so now we have a positive stop set at zero and while we're cutting it off I'll just move it back a half inch away alright so to recap what we got here is I've set the readout to zero and this is where it's going to cut off okay and we also set up a positive stop here with the tail stock which we've moved back a half inch so if I move it again forward and touch it we should go back to zero okay so we're going to just move it out of the way for now half inch and just leave it there so I'm going to use a little bit of oil cutting oil and just put it on here and actually we'll back it off so again, 360, it could be a little faster, but it um, should work well. And I'm just going to go ahead and hand feed it down. You can see there's no nub on this cutoff, but when we grab the piece here, we'll see, yeah, I got a little bit of a nub there. And that's why I left stock. We'll come back, put it in in a second operation here, and just cut that off and face it to size. So I still have the readout set at zero. I did lock down the carriage, so I didn't, if I bumped it or anything, it wouldn't move off zero. But you don't have to. Um, so back on the tail stock, you know, we backed it off negative half inch. We're going to go take that back to zero. Okay. And we got it. And we'll go ahead and loosen the collet chuck. And the face is flat now. The cutter cuts really good on this side. It's only the cutoff piece that leaves the nub. So we'll go ahead and pull it out against the stop again. And I'm holding it against it as I tighten. And we're just going to go ahead and repeat this a bunch more times. i got to make 12 of these, so let's go ahead. I'll make 12, and uh, we'll come back. So I went ahead and cut 12 of these, uh, same technique that I showed you. And let's see how they came out. Um, so this first one is about 4 inches, oh, 22, 23. Twenty-three and a half, so pretty good. They're all about the same. That's what we were shooting for. Um, we still have this nub on here that we want to get rid of. So let's go back. I already took the collet out of the lathe, <clears throat> out of the collet chuck, and we talked about the ID thread. I was going to tell you about that. What that's for is for a collet stop. Um, you thread it in the back of this, like so, and you could adjust it here with the thread. So what for us, what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece back in here. And we want it to stop probably about there. So I'm just going to go ahead and lock everything down really tight. And we'll go back to the lathe. Okay, now back at the lathe. i got everything tightened up nice and snug. We've adjusted it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the collet chuck. Line it up and tighten it down. And I'm going to make sure that our stock is all the way to the bottom where it needs to be. Okay. So I got the next piece in here. I pushed it until it stopped and locked it down. So I'm just going to go right to zero on the readout. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and cut it off. or trim it off, not cut it off. But. So it's just a little bit more of a cut, but it should cut everything off in one pass. So 
So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process for all 12 of these. Uh, you know, face them all to the same length. Number two done. So I got all 12 pieces done. Uh, let's take a look. They should all be very close to each other in length. So I don't know how well you guys can see that. Four inches. Four, uh, four inches. A little over four. So they're all the same and um, now I have 12 identical pieces. So now I have 12 uh, equally length, uh, equal length pieces uh, for this turbine rod that I'm going to be working on. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to complete the process uh, doing all the whole work, slot work and everything else. And um, should be giving you guys some details on what this project is, what these 12 rods are going to be. Uh, used for. So stay tuned and see you soon. Thanks for watching.